Well, this week we are in chapter 30 of the story, the Apostle Paul's final days. And there's a fascinating thing that happens to the Apostle Paul. He's on his fourth missionary journey. He's just been shipwrecked and he lands in the Isle of Malta along with his traveling companions. And there's some islanders there. And it says in Acts 28 that they built a fire and welcomed us because it was raining and cold. So Paul goes about, he starts gathering brushwood for the fire and he puts it on the fire. And as he does so, a viper is driven out by the heat and fastens, fastens onto his hand. And it says in Acts 28 verse four, when the islanders saw the snake hanging from his hand, and they said to each other, this man must be a murderer, for though he escaped from the sea, the goddess Justice has not allowed him to live. And you know what? Reflecting on this, they were actually right, because Paul was a murderer. He hauled Christians off to jail. He hauled them off to be persecuted, and much worse than that, he stood at the, uh, the clothes of the people who had stoned Stephen, the very first Christian martyr. Paul was in a very real sense a, a murderer. And so this viper just, just clinged to him and the accusation clinged to him. You know, I think this is the way that sin operates in our own lives, is that it clings to us and it, it refuses to let go. And we can't forget our past mistakes. We can't forget our, our failures. We can't forget the things about ourselves that, that we like, that we look in the mirror each morning and we're, we are reminded of how far short from being the, the optimal me that I want to be, that I, I really am. And so we too have the accusing power of the serpent telling us and bringing to mind, you know what? You're not how you should be. You're not doing what you should do. And it's actually right. But I want you to listen to this very next verse because it's a picture of the gospel. Acts 28 verse five, it says, but Paul shook the snake off into the fire and suffered no ill effects. What Jesus does with our sins, with these, these past, mistakes, these things we, we, we cannot get out of our heads that cling to us, he takes them and he casts them into the fire and he says they have no accusing power over us anymore. And ultimately this is what he does with Satan, whose eternal destination is the fires of hell, this burning fire in Gehenna where he will, will never be allowed to, to harm us ever again. So I want you to be encouraged uh, and to know that, that these things that cling to you, these failures, they no longer define you because Jesus has cast your sins as far as the east is from the west. And for those who believe in that, that promise is yours fully and completely in Jesus.